So, what's going on YouTube world, man? Man, we back, one more video. Uh, doing, again, the, the cross brand. So, do over Crypto Boom. I meant to get this one done a little bit sooner, uh, but life. So, used up, uh, again, I probably have about three, about three or four games myself on this lane. Uh, yeah, throwing the Atlas, DNA, and then throw the Emerge and the Eternity. So now, got the Duo and the Crypto, and I think these two balls should look really, really good. This is uh, the US Open 2022 pattern, at least the team pattern. Um, whichever one was like 38, 38 feet, that's what this is. So again, this is why I would be using it uh, later in the set uh, when I need to again, get a little more length and a little more recovery. See which one of these balls look really good on this, man. Uh, I'm very, very uh, interested, man. Crypto Boom got the HK22 in it and the Duo. Man, I think the Duo is a really good ball. <laughs> I really liked it, really controllable. Gives me those zenny vibes. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it, man. But as always, man, got the jerseys. Some new, some new flavors are coming in, coming in the door. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And if you're in South Florida, get to Tony Vance, Roger, a Bose Edge Pro Shop in Sawgrass Lane. So go ahead and do this. Then also, a Joe Pose, man. Just, just, just next level, bro. Just next level. It just happens that most of the new balls were Brunswick balls. So as soon as uh, we get some new uh, Storm stuff in, uh, we will be throwing that too. Start a little bit straighter. Oh man, that didn't hook at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, had to check the time, man, because that, that didn't see it. So I just touched, again, both balls uh, with a, a light 2000, because uh, that first shot didn't look good at all. So just give it a little, a little traction. Still threw it out the window, still threw it out the window. So we are on a slow to speed down. Um, and again, I can't throw it to five because it's never going to see it um, like we just saw. But uh, so one more shot with the, with the crypto, then we get to the duo. Try to get a half decent shot here. Try to get a half decent shot. Okay, that splashed. That splashed. So again, we'll go ahead and get to the duo and see if that one sees it and reads it any sooner. Let's see. And I am standing, again, I'm standing on 20. I'm gonna go ahead and cheat a little further, right? Well, I'm gonna stand on 20 right now, and then I'll cheat right um, as we as I throw it. Try to check it out. Wasn't horrible, wasn't great. Throw another one. I'm gonna try to get it a little further to the right, but not five. Oh God, that's on two. Is that messenger, that, that count? Kind of, maybe, sort of. See, I'm gonna jump right and let's see what happens. My man, Steve the Mechanic, is a guru, apparently, man. He said move right, and it was there. Just listen to your mechanic, man. That's all you gotta do, guys. That's it. If you listen, you might strike. Let's try this on that lane, on this as well, with the duo. See if the duo from straighter is greater. I got around it a little bit too much, but also I feel like I was a little direct. Could have been a little angles a little bit straighter and not as direct, and it might have been a better shot. 
All right, so I'm trying to execute one from a lot straighter. So, definitely, if I was trying to score and I only had these two balls, staying here probably gonna give me the optimal uh, pin carry percentage, honestly. Well, let's try it again. That was pretty fun. That is pretty fun. Like, let's, I can stay this straight and there's so much volume right here. Yeah. Got a little too comfortable there, buddy. Just a little too, a little too comfortable. All right, I'm gonna throw one more from here. I know you guys didn't come to see me play, try to play up five. But you can. So, on those tougher patterns, and they say stay straight, managing your speed, managing your rev rate, managing your tilt, um, this is what they're talking about. Like right now, I'm not trying to get around it a ton. I'm trying to get it up the boards, get it rolling. And they both actually look pretty good from right here. And I don't see a huge difference in my ball motion. So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat just a little bit and see, again, kind of slow my speed down enough to get it to tip over the corner. Yeah, I'm gonna move back to 20, see what we get. Oh, there we go. That's a sport shot for you. Still gotta get it out there. I really slowed everything down because of those first several shots out there that never saw it. Um, but now, again, I need to get to the spot. All right, so yeah, I'm still trying to get it to Close, pretty close to five. Ah. So I'm still trying to get it there and still be uh, a little steeper, which is a little more challenging. This is why playing straight, it makes a lot more sense. Uh, but I'm gonna try to crypto from here um, and see if we're getting a lot of the same results. Gonna make, throw another shot here. got to get so much steeper than what I currently am to actually have a chance. I'm going to jump again a little bit, a little bit steeper and see because these balls are just responding down lane. Doesn't look horrible from right there. Um, it's either be super deep or be a lot straighter. Everything in between is super touchy. Like, it's come super over under when I'm like trying to be in the middle somewhere. I got to get like 25, 30 and just getting it to the hold. Um, Cause which I just saw, man. If I get it to the right from, you know, that little in-between zone, either never sees it or still just kind of goes to the middle, so. Still didn't get it quite enough right. And I don't know if that was me or just the duo is just heavier, rolling a little bit heavier and seeing the middle of the lane sooner. So I'm gonna try to throw one more and really get it there with the duo. Getting about 25, 26 with the duo. Ah, oh, man, that's a bad shot. Just a really, really poor executed shot. Uh -huh. I'm gonna make a good one real quick, man. I really wanna make a good one. All right, stick the landing, make a good shot. Much, much better shot. Mm. Still get a little inside and just didn't really make the corner. Uh, try one more from here with the crypto boom. Uh, again, the, the play right now, I'm trying to make these balls work from inside. And it's, the play is really <laughs> move right, break this spot down a lot more um, and try to score as high as I possibly can from a little bit straighter. So yeah, anything else looks questionable, very questionable.
and it's not really the ball's fault. So this is really a this is really a classic example of if you don't have the right ball in your hand, it's gonna make your life a lot very very uh, difficult. Like just this is what it's gonna do. So. Mm. Yeah, got to be much, much deeper with that one. It seems to be more responsive. Um, off my hand is definitely getting just finishing just a lot harder down lane. The duo is kind of rolling. One more, and then I'm just going to move back right, man. able to roll that one because of how responsive I'm seeing uh, this Chris Obuna be, especially in comparison to the duo. The duo is just looking, again, a, a lot smoother. Um, that's not a bad thing. Um, it's just, let me be closer uh, to it, to the shot. Um, moving a, little, a lot further right, I feel like the duo looked the best and moving in a little bit deeper, the crypto actually is seeing it and getting the corners out. So let's see if we can execute one good shot here with the duo and get it out there. So I, I wouldn't say that was like how, how I drew it up, but they all went down. Uh, but like I said, I think the duo just lends itself to being a lot straighter. It looked the best um, in that particular uh, vicinity. So I'm gonna jump back right, and then we're gonna close this thing out. So I'm gonna go back to the duo. I'm gonna stand back on about 10 and get this joker going up the lane. Got to get my body back under control. Slow the speed down and roll it. Don't throw it. Ah, still. This lane is becoming almost impossible. Impossible, impossible, impossible. It's with this equipment, like, these shinier, quicker responding balls. Um, they just make it really, really difficult. Oh God. So I went left and kind of pushed oil to there. Now it's just, it's becoming impossible, bro. <laughs> this is why when you start too far left and then it just kind of pushes oil around in spots you don't really want it. So I'm getting rid of all my hold and it's just, it's becoming really, really tough. That's why I didn't even want to do a full game on this one. This is just, we're going to figure this out and see what's the optimal line right now because the lanes 100% have changed because I'm going to hop further, further right, get more on top of it. But now it's breaking even harder. So it's like I have to get a little steeper and float it there and let it just kind of round the spot. So throw last last like two, three shots here um, and see if we can't get one to go through the pins correctly. Ow, itch. All right, try to get up the ball a little bit more, roll it. And it's just catching friction all in the wrong places. Golly, you're a thing right now. That's what I'm thinking. Jesus, where's my tank? Everything is high telling, bro. Everything. Fuck. All right. All right, let's see what this duo has. Let me give it a little bit. God. I feel like the middle of the lane is like torched and there is nothing here anymore.
playing the loft looks like that's the play because the fronts and the middles are just starting to go or not starting to gone. And so to get this ball to get down a lane, go over it because those last several shots are just checking up, checking up. And it's just both of these balls, man, I guess wrong. That straighter was not greater anymore. Straighter, yeah, it's not great anymore. Blew the, blew the mids up. They just kind of went away like that. Um, it seemed like it was all right, and then, again, just completely gone. So, both the duo and the crypto, boom. Yeah, I'm gonna throw probably one or two more shots, and then we'll wrap this up, but getting left, getting big left. I still have the crypto being a little more down lane, and the boom, again, being just a pinch smoother. Yeah, just, that was just a little lazier getting up the hill. So throw one more with the uh, crypto. Yeah, and that ball is just, throw one more. One more, get on big left. Get up the lane. This is exhausting. That's what you gotta do sometimes. Uh, but yeah, so Crypto Boom and Duo, again, I still have Crypto Boom is just a little bit cleaner, a little, a little faster down lane. Um, so, Brunswick versus Radical. Sorry, Radical versus Roto. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'll get something going on some house shots uh, here in the next round of uh, videos. Uh, but yeah, man, be on the lookout again. Of course, we got that new Rhino coming, and we got some fun, man. We got some more fun, entertaining stuff. Um, so keep watching, buy everything, balls below, t-shirts, all you need. If you're in South Florida, Sargrass Lanes. We out.